Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Chris, I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube and we have another video for you guys today. It is the fourth day of us moving our business into a storage unit. We've already moved uh, the shelf along this wall. We had a shelf of inventory along that wall. And last time we moved this big shelf and this is the last shelf we have to do. We, uh, yesterday, we did do a little bit of inventorying. Uh, the, the top three rows we've already completed and we were just about to start this stuff right now. Kathy's got a couple sales that she's been working on, which we, if you've been watching us for a while, you've noticed we haven't done uh, much what sold stuff lately. And that's because obviously we're moving right now and um, we still gotta get the sales out, right? So. But you've been kind of keeping up on your Instagram, right? Uh, for, for like what sold? Yeah. Yeah. So, so today, yesterday, I've put everything that sold. I just, it's in my story. Yeah. Well, by the time you see this video, it'll be, it'll be a different day. Right. I'll, I'm going to share them there if we're not making a what sold. Yeah. That's going to be something we're trying to do for now. Because yeah, I want to keep, you know, my Instagram active as well. And yeah. And we know you guys are here for the what sold. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so and actually someone just commented. I love that you're sharing your what sold in your stories. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Encouraging. Uh, yeah. So that's kind of the plan. Today is basically just moving the rest of this inventory to the unit, to the storage unit. Um, and then from there, I, it's basically going to be kind of just getting an idea of what everything is. Kathy knows, I don't really know what like what these bins are. So we're gonna have to sort through all this and kind of get an idea, uh, a game plan from that point. But the, the business should still be able to roll on. Kathy is still managing to get her listings up uh, every day. We do appreciate all the patience and uh, all the support during this huge change. Uh, if you watched our last video, we talked about why we're doing all this. Um, it's not just because we're crazy, <laughs> but uh, uh, if you haven't seen that, make sure you go check that one out. Um, so we're still in the process of moving and we do have more stuff like in the closet that we have to, um, I'm gonna show you, it's, it's messy in here too. Um, these are all not inventory, those are empty boxes. Uh, I, I don't know what's in there, probably some plastic. Um, so that's uh, another thing that we're gonna have to do. So we're gonna have to tackle all of this, get it all organized, because some of it is not photographed, some of it is photographed. Uh, okay. Like, Most there, of it's not photographed. there's stuff that's bagged that <laughs> needs to be listed. Yeah, that just needs to be inventoried. Yeah. These are like personal items, like our kids' clothes that they've outgrown. So they're listed, but because they're not in our spreadsheet yet, that's why they're yeah. haven't been put away yet. So yeah. that takes extra time that I wasn't willing to give at the time yet. Yeah. That'll get done at some point. Yeah. <laughs> Everything else. We're trying not to work on the weekends much this year. That's either. another one of our goals this year. But this weekend we might <laughs> yeah. all probably at least come up here a couple hours and try to at least make sense of what's happening. Yeah. So that next week I can just, you know, hit the ground running. Yeah. Now, as far as what we're going to be using this room for once we are, once we do have all the inventory out, um, we, Kathy's still going to be photographing. She's still going to, maybe not listing as much. She's been doing a lot of that stuff at like a coffee shop, which she's actually been enjoying. That's been giving me a good amount of uh, quiet time to work on YouTube videos and stuff. So that's been working out. We're probably going to do that for a little bit uh, going forward. And then as far as like shipping, like the we've, we've realized that at the unit, the shipping is probably not going to be very easy for us to do out there, uh, especially not like printing labels and stuff like that. But so the shipping is still going to be done here, which does mean we're going to be bringing inventory back and forth um, pretty much daily or every other day, which is fine. That's one of those like inconveniences, but it's kind of necessary. But we're going to have uh, some kind of shipping, a better shipping area, like more, more developed than just having all of our boxes right there and all of our uh poly mailers in some broken drawers that uh, that don't close. <laughs> so um, that's going to be something that we're going to be working on in the future. Um, and then uh, obviously we're going to be replacing all the flooring in here, which we mentioned in our last video. So that's the kind of stuff we're going to be working on. Hopefully 
uh, as soon as we can, right? Getting the floor done so that we can get this uh, ready for renters and all that kind of stuff so that when we do end up finding a house, it'll be a very short turnaround time that we can get this house making us money, right? So anyway, a lot of rambling about what we're gonna be doing. Right now, the task is to finish inventorying those last two rows of boxes. Starting with those two boxes, you got, you're ready, huh? Yeah, I'm looking at Reese, because he's like, looks like he's like all fenced in and just staring over. You got like a little fort over there. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll, uh, we're gonna take a few minutes getting that inventory done. We do still have some hanging stuff, which, what if we- only a few, honestly. I mean, I know you showed up. Most of this is stuff I haven't listed yet. Yeah. So the only things that are listed are from like here back, like four. Oh, okay. So this is all unlisted. This purse, so like six things. You know, we have a rolling rack that I was using for consignment. So we're yeah. thinking about putting that in the storage for any hanging, but there might not be that much hanging because I really only hang coats. Right. You know, that diaper bag and purse is because they're big, but we could probably set them on the top of a shelf or something at the storage. So. Yeah. We also know. do have uh, one of those at the storage unit, the shoe rack. And we have another one in the shed, don't we? Or in the trailer? I think we do. I thought we had three. Yeah, we had three at one Unless point. I broke, one. <laughs> I, broke uh, I got one at, two of them came from a neighbor for free, and then I got one at a garage sale, and I might have broke it. Like, I feel like. You pushing it around. They, they don't, don't yeah, roll really great. well on the carpet. <laughs> like, we do get a lot of questions about them. They're okay. I don't, I they're don't okay. That, I wouldn't pay the Amazon price on them probably, yeah. but yeah, since we got two for free and I got one for five bucks, that's definitely worth it. Yeah, but I don't think we'd buy more mm -hmm. of that kind. So we're going to take a few minutes and then we'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. All right, so I am back and it is later in the day. We've picked up the kids from school. Uh, it is Friday, so they're kind of down having some iPad time, having a good time. Kathy has gone to the gym and uh, uh, we got all the boxes down. We got finished up the inventory of those last two rows and got the boxes downstairs ready to load in. I've been putting the shelving material in the van first because uh, it, it lays pretty flat. Um, and then I've been stacking boxes on top of it. That's been working pretty well. But I forgot that I actually did this with this first shelf where I put these um, these straps, these uh, strips of board going all the way down to kind of help it with the racking that kind of happens with the other ones, especially that, that shorter one that we had there. Um, and this was the only one I did that on, and I, I think I just felt that it was a little bit overkill. I, obviously, it's it's safe. And oh, actually, I, I forgot I did this too. I anchored them to the wall um, through the through the studs right there too. So uh, one in each corner. So this shelf is actually pretty. Uh, pretty steady. I'm probably not going to uh, put those those back straps back on. Uh, I think it might just be a little bit too overkill. It would actually hold the shelf away from the wall further than the, the shelf next to it and there'd be a little bit of a, a difference there and I don't think it's that necessary. I, I am going to screw the shelves together to kind of add some stability there, um, but I don't think that's necessary. If you're building your own shelves, um, you know, use your own uh, discretion whether or not you want to add uh, a back a back is definitely going to add strength um, to any shelf it, it, that's basically where the strength the rigidity of a shelf comes from is the back of it so um, so yeah I'm gonna lay this down and lay out like I've been doing with the other ones using just a sharpie to kind of lay out what the left the right the top bottom all that kind of stuff so that it can go back together in this uh, orientation. So I'm going to get working on that and then get it loaded in the van. And by the time I get everything loaded up, uh, Kathy will probably be getting home and we'll have some dinner and then I'll, I'll head down to the storage unit then. So, uh, let's get this uh, laid out and figure out, uh, how we're going to reassemble it. Okay. I got it laid down and oh my goodness, I forgot how heavy this unit was. Um, and it reminded me, I actually was, uh, when I built this one, the, this, this was the first shelf that I built, and I fully assembled it down in my garage, which is directly below us downstairs. Um, and I somehow managed to assemble it downstairs and bring it fully built up the stairs, uh, through the whole house, up the stairs, and put it in place by myself. I did that with no help. Kathy didn't help. I think I was actually pretty upset that day. <laughs> 
<laughs> things weren't going great. And I, uh, I asked her to take the kids out cause I might've been saying some bad words and stuff at that point. But, uh, yeah, that was, that was a crazy day. And uh, looking back at it, I just had a hard time just laying it down. And it just made me remember that. And, uh, it looks, I, this has like two and a half or almost three full sheets of three quarter inch plywood, uh, in this one shelf here. So that's, I don't know. I don't know how much a sheet of plywood is, but it's probably at least 200 pounds um, for this uh, whole unit here. So, all right. So I've got all the back straps off and started disassembling. And look at this. The, some of these shelves are really, really bowed. You can kind of see there. Um, and you know, I've mentioned it before that this this plywood was the cheapest plywood I could find, um, but it's it's held up really well as long as you kind of screw it together straight. Uh, it holds what it needs to hold. I mean, we've loaded these shelves up for uh, three, four years now. Never had any issue. Uh, it might be a little more difficult kind of putting them back together at the, the storage unit because they're kind of all twisted a little bit now. But uh, overall, I mean, the, the ugliest plywood you could find does good, does just as well as the prettiest plywood. So it doesn't have to be great, just has to be functional, right? All right, got the shelf all broken down. And yeah, look how wavy these shelves are. They do just fine. <laughs> look at, you can see where Reese's favorite spot to lay was, all that hair that we couldn't get in the vacuum and just the difference in color of carpet. That's kind of gross. <laughs> so, all right, I'm gonna spend the next few minutes loading this in the van. I just finished loading all up and this load is full. This is a very full load, the shelf's there. And we have all the boxes, basically three high, all the way up to the front. So it is dinner time. I'm gonna go in, eat some dinner, and then I'm at least gonna get this dropped off tonight. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to assemble and put everything together, but let's get some food, get some energy, and then go drop it off at the very least. It is about 10 minutes till eight, and this place closes at nine. So I have about an hour. I'm not gonna be able to assemble anything, just gonna be dropping stuff off. So let's load up a cart and we'll start getting the stuff in the unit. Got the last shelf loaded on the cart, ready to go. Let's get it inside. All right, guys, got the shelf parts in place and it does look like we have just enough space to miss this uh, little latch thingy there. Um, so uh, I measured correctly, so that's good. And then yeah, tomorrow or sometime over the weekend, uh, I'll get that shelf assembled and um, and then all these boxes that are staged all around will go up there and be in their uh, final resting place, at least for now. And Kathy did message me and said that she has three things that she wants me to pick up to take home to get shipped out, three sales. So uh, let's get those real quick. All right, so first up over in BP, which is right here. Looks like we have some uh, bionic flip-flops. It might be these. I don't think it's those. These ones here. And then next up in DH, we have um, some little overalls. Get a little light on the box here. Oh, there they are. Right in front of my face. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're, we could really use some lighting in here. That is something that we are in the process of figuring out. So stay tuned to see what we end up doing with that. And then last up, looks like over in box L. We have Pohan, and I think 
think it might just be these. Yeah. I think it's those. That is it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining along with us in this adventure. And thank you so much for all of the support. Um, I'm excited that the hard part is almost over. Just have to build this shelf and I won't be sweating as much anymore. So guys, thanks again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.